What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Just Roll With It. Boom! My name's Grizzly, and I'm the DM. My name is Bizzly, and I play Chip. Yeah, my name is... Con I don't know what's going on over there, but like, my name is Condefiction, and I play Jay Farron. My name's Charlie Slime School, and I play Gillian Tide Strider, champion of the undersea, hero of the deep... Uh, uh, Paramount champion singer songwriter right. on can't on even can't even can't heart. even remember all his titles too many P pretzel <laughs> carrier uh, Leviathan tamer is that, is that moisture him? master is that, is that him Grizzly what are you gonna do with him Grizzly stop stop this isn't funny man it's a it's like a voodoo doll Dude, of you put so him down if you, if you fuck up in this session if Chip dies in ah, this session stop, you die in real stop, life. Dude. They're doing a visual bit again, stop. guys. Dad, They're doing a visual guys, bit. Guys, please stop doing visual bits. Audio listeners, he's got a voodoo doll and he's going to kill me with dark magic. That's hey, audio awesome. listeners, can you hear this? It's a knife. <laughs> 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 All right. Welcome to Just Roll With It. <laughs> hey, audio listeners, can you feel this? <sighs> okay. The Albatria have begun their plan to steal from the rich and give to the poor. However, they've sent a bounty hunter hot on their trail and an entire casino into complete chaos. Regardless if they yeah, bust bro. or get busted, <laughs> they'll always <laughs> just roll with it. Oh, I never bust. <laughs> Where we last left off, Ooh. the three of you, Chip, Jay, and Gillian, Gillian. arrived in Edison Gillian. Kingdom after an introduction with Dugan, a titan of the undersea. Your ship rode up tubes into the suspended city, and you met a struggling paperboy at the port, Isaac, who wanted to raise money for the orphanage in the slums. You then quickly met one of these orphans as he graciously relieved you of your briefcase and ran off. Making chase and then catching him, you learned of this young boy named Tyler and the unfortunate lives of all the citizens in the slums. Filled with a sense of valor and wanting to give Ollie an adventure, Chip declared a plan to rob the king and give back to those in need. All of you, agreeing with taking down evil, headed up to the second stage of the city, the Blossom District. Gillian sensed evil at every single turn and made it a mission to get rid of it. You met the old lady at the post office shitting in packages, making a deal to be able to use this office later to funnel things back down to the ground stage. You infiltrated and destroyed the inn built for romance, turning Jay into a crab in the process. Crab Jay, let's go. Romance? You mean adultery? <laughs> the final place to extinguish was the casino, where Gillian weeded out cheating in the frogged puss races, Ollie got a familiar woman's number, and Jay made an unlikely friend with a bounty hunter. Looking... Um, Friend. For all of you. No, you guys are tight now. <laughs> yeah, we're so tight. I'm a crab. Now, <laughs> and so, the journey continues. You're not Jay, you're cray. You guys all began uh, where we last, or sorry, where we ended. Ah. Jay uh, said, there they are. And the, uh, the <laughs> orgish, orgishly shaped in some features in the, in the mouth, the bounty hunter in that cloak said, where? And pulled out a gun and started waving it everywhere, uh, sending the entire, <laughs> the entire uh, casino into this chaos of people freaking out, being threatened. Uh, you see like a few in like the corners, these uh, mechanical made out of gears and kind of steam powered uh cameras and, and or they look like cameras to us uh they look down and they, they it's like basically big telescopes that like that come down and look around and then as that happens um you guys have to hear like uh like stomping of like metal feet shuffling from uh somewhere uh in the back of this this building as everybody is like running around and brushing past you and bumping into each other trying to get out of the casino there are other the the rest of you besides jay jay's not quite there but you guys are all at the entrance gillian's uh -huh. still with that uh frogopus racer I would I'm like a... to slip out. Oh, you're already outside. I thought you were at like the are entrance. Are we? Are right? we out? I thought we were just at the entrance, still inside. Mm -mm. Okay, then that's fine. I'll just hang out and out yeah, here. Yeah, no, 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 like you, you're in the you're in the entrance still. Like you guys are still inside. Uh, it's like the yeah. the the bounty hunter okay. is still looking around frantically for you guys. But now it's even <clears throat> harder because there are people <laughs> running under him and 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 past him. Yeah, I, I'd we don't even know about the bounty hunter. Want to <laughs> grab? No, I just want to grab Ollie and, and move out into the. 
into the uh, outside. Bef yeah, before you're able to do that, though, Jay, you have like a split second here to do something before. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to pick up a chip off of the ground. Okay. Just like okay. a little casino chip. Okay. And uh -huh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use magical tinkering and record a six second long recorded message and throw it towards Chip. What? Can I time yeah, you? That's Absolutely. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Tell me, tell me when, tell me when go and I'm yeah, going yeah, yeah, yeah. to hit okay. it. Okay. Ready? Okay. Try it. Mm, go. There's a bounty hunter here and he's trying to hunt us. Disguise yourselves. Still got three seconds. Uh, the, uh, the, bye. <laughs> okay, <perfect. laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I give it a, a, a hofty lob towards Chip and Gil. It, it cuts off before he finishes bye, so he's just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Chip, you see this coin flying towards you. Go ahead and make a. Uh, at, uh, you gotta catch it. So I gotta roll catch a side of hand. Side of hand. Would I even know this is coming at me? I don't even think I would. Yeah, it's a, your chip sense activates. Oh, my chip. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you can detect anything referred to as chip. With an <laughs> right, so I, I, dude, that is so funny. Grizzly should here? give him that fucking boon. Uh, sleight of hand. Sleight of hand? Oh, I'm good at that. Uh, that'll be an 18. Nice. All right. Your chip sense <laughs> tingles. <laughs> my chip sense. I love it. I, <laughs> uh, and you, your head uh, jolts over to where Jay is uh, a little bit further into this crowd and you see her uh, the this this coin or chip uh, released from our fingertips and start flying towards you and you hold out your hand and you snatch it out of the air uh, does it just play automatically or how does it work um I have no idea how it works exactly cool. it doesn't really say all right so, so I just assume it, it plays automatically does fuck it, it does it not say hang on I'm sure it's it not. just says up to a six second long recorded message blah, 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 blah. Oh no, actually, God. I think I activate it. I think I activate it just like with my own magical energy or something. I don't fucking know. I yeah, he yeah. catches it and I make it play. Okay. Uh, uh, Gil, so we this gotta, starts playing we gotta disguise you hear, ourselves. Uh, you hear Jake's case. voice, a little bit whispered, uh, emit from the chip, but it's enough for all of her, for for Chip and for Gillian to hear it. Okay. Yeah. I uh, I hear hey guys, her go. Oh, you need to you need to and, disguise uh, yourself. Um, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> just right. keeps keeping looping. I open up the I open up the briefcase for sure. Yeah. Okay, Jay thinks it's a good idea, but I'll still be Gillian. No, you can't be Gillian. There's someone here looking for us. We need to not be us. Uh, I'm just looking I through the briefcase. Um, I pull out the dress and I just kind of look at it. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to disguise myself as an old woman. So you have to roll, a, basically just roll performance to see how well sure. you uh, put the disguise on. And I would say... Uh, in the circumstance, you have to roll a disadvantage. A disadvantage? You're still you're, in the crowd. You're putting crowd on of people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, that's funny, that's funny. That's a 15. Not so as you're putting nine. on this dress, uh, <laughs> sorry, as you're putting on this dress, and Jay, as you throw the coin, and you watch Chip start to put uh, this disguise on, this old lady disguise, I Gillian's sort of myself. standing there with the briefcase <laughs> open and helping out, you hear a gunshot from where the the uh, the boundary the bounty hunter is standing and then you start to see funneling from uh, the uh, doors on like the back walls and on the left side these large brass humanoids uh -oh. made of mm. steam like they, they seem to have like gas powered limbs and every time that they move you hear like tink as they're like walking towards this larger it's the copper maniac yes. holding uh holding the gun and waving it around and then he shoots at one of them here tink bounces right off of them and they start to they start to, to uh part through the crowd people are just kind of getting pushed to the left and the right and they're headed right for him can we call them the coppers <laughs> Absolutely. they're made out of copper actually yeah! i take it back <laughs> yes great job chip now they'll never recognize you i put my hands on my hips and stand proudly Okay, what, do you, what else are you doing? Oh, that's it. That's it. Oh, okay. All right, then you, you guys watch... You uh, you're not disguising? Well, I... I, I, I can't... I'm not, I can't do that. What are you, what are you talking about? I, um, you're also fully donned okay. and armored. Yeah, right. I have, yeah. So, I, yeah, I have, I have pretzel squirt some ink in my hand, and then I, I put it on my face like war paint. <laughs> Dye your hair with the <laughs> fucking. All right, uh, I think this is gonna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Gil, that's it. not a disguise. I, mean, I put a little mustache on with the ink. <laughs> just like you taught me. Seems no, to be four, four of these, 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 uh, essentially warforged 
coppers the coppers are headed towards him and they they get to him and they start to try and restrain him and he like looks towards you jay the bounty hunter as he's like trying to fight off and 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 and, uh, and, and stop he's trying to fight from being restrained he looks and he's like where are they I look back towards Chip and Gil. Do they look sufficiently um, disguised? At this <laughs> I'm just point? smiling. I just have this shitty fucking. So, uh, would would either of us have like a sheet? Would there be a sheet in this briefcase? A sheet? A sheet Some kind of, of sheet. I don't know. Maybe we stole the sheet somewhere. Oh, like no, a, like no, no, a no. You can't. You can't. You can't just. You can't Damn just it. put them in. You can't be like we stole sheets a long time ago. <laughs> you have to have actually steal sheets. <laughs> For a Tomic character, it's, a, it's, a, it's a personality fly. Steal the sheets of every man I stay I'm just looking for a large cloth anywhere, even like a like a curtain we have a on, the, on the wall. There's pants. bound to be something, right? We have, we have pants. pants. I, mean, we have pants. Like, I feel like we have infinite pants. We, <laughs> <laughs> we, we do, do have deal. infinite pants, but I can't just cover you in pants. There are no curtains, I can say, without having you having to roll, but you do have the pants. I, I will roll for curtain because I can't use pants. I have a fog cloud. I have to cast it. Oh my god, he'd use a fog cloud and like control and shape water and like make it into a suit. Like, what the fucking hell? <laughs> make it like a cape. Sure, if the DM will let me have a <laughs> whatever that even means. A mist water cape. A what? A mist oh, water no. cape. I don't know. Mist is water just in the air. He wants me to turn into hum a humidifier. I don't know okay. what I can disguise him as. I don't know. Well, I, I can I can I use think he's... I can use fog cloud and like a cartoon character go poof and then it goes away and I'm in a new outfit if we want to do that. <laughs> you know what at this point, uh while two of them two of the coppers are restraining the bounty hunter, yeah. the other two start to walk right towards Crab Lady J. She has the she has the charisma of a crab. I give I She'll give him fine. I give him a Stop. Uh, I give him a hand signal. I give him Stop. a hand signal. Jay, do Run. something a do something a crab Stop. would do. Um just, You must start bubbling out of the mouth. With <laughs> us. What? <laughs> um, what did Jay start doing? <laughs> she bubbles at the mouth. She puts her hands up and do. bubbles at the mouth? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> Gillian just like looks down and like shakes his head in shame. <laughs> you told me to do something a crab would do. I've never seen a crab do that in my entire life. I walk life. away, though. I do walk away. <laughs> At a brisk pace. Make a uh, strength saving throw. Absolutely. Uh -oh. No, 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 I'm no, gonna... sorry. Make an athlete. No, it's, it's strength. It's contested strength check. So just make a strength check. Okay, I can't. I can't dex to avoid it with my Can you awesome... use your charisma to look at them with your cute little eye stalks? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you, uh, I mean, your back is turned, so you could roll a dex save with disadvantage. I like my odds better with that, honestly. It's a 10. <laughs> All right. Luckily for you, a 10 oh. is enough. Because oh. I rolled a 4. And even with their modifiers, it doesn't get to 10. So you feel uh, you feel these... these. It's a strong, un inhuman grasp as they grab... Uh, they go to grab your shoulders, but swiftly, <laughs> with the... Movement of a crab? Excellent. <laughs> I, I, the, the you get down on six legs and you start to scuttle away. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. I look over at the guy. The Meet me at the stuff. elevator. Stop. An accomplice. You hear them yell as you guys get to the uh, the the entrance. You guys all leave at this point? Yeah. What's going on? What are you doing? Um, no, I, I, I clap my hands together and I cast Fog Cloud. Okay. Right here at the entrance? Or yeah. exit? It's just a one way in and I one way out. I literally do it right here. I turn to Shoop and I say, make me beautiful. Uh, I'll do my best. I uh, I don't know what I can make him look like, though, is my problem right now. I just, I have, like, common clothes, so I can just put, like, these commoner clothes over top of I was just saying, his... this is going to, is extremely difficult to do in this situation right now. <laughs> I, trust me, I'm aware of my current circumstances. <laughs> he just made a puff of smoke and said, make me beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. All right, fine. I, I Dude, we don't have time. We just have to go. Hunter. I, I, I yell at the uh, bounty hunter. What's up? Meet us, meet us at the elevator. <laughs> I mean, if he escapes, I want him to meet us at the elevator upwards. Jeez, okay, you're yelling geez, at the bounty hunter. Yeah. Chip, the rule of improv is yes and, not no. Let's go, but okay. <laughs> I tried yes and. DM said no. You guys start to run out. The fog cloud you gather would give you enough. Uh, I guess stealth. It would it, it would obscure enough vision to get you out of here without being it immediately chased. Us. Yeah. Who? It, the fog cloud comes the with fog us. Cloud oh. goes with us. I, like I think he's saying somebody so comes easier. with you. 
<laughs> How long no, does it last? It's, we could be anywhere in that 20 radius sphere of fog. <laughs> How long does it last? You guys are also, your vision is Up also obscured. So you don't know where you're going? Because um, you can't see through it either? I suppose. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys follow. Uh, you guys follow Gillian, all surrounded by this cloud of fog. Chip, as you're uh, making your way out of the casino, you can hear the bouncer. You recognize the voice as you talked to him before. He's like, "Hey, what's going on in there?" Oh, excuse me. I'm just trying to get my grandson out of there. And I'm, you like, don't holding, even see him. I'm holding you guys just gotta hear each other's voices. Down. I want so I want Chip Grandma to look like to have one of those uh, you know you know those Grandma hoods I don't know what they they're called like the ones that's the like thing? yeah all the way over yeah but all the like way you're over super slouched I have sunglasses like... and I'm slouched and I'm just holding on to <laughs> Ollie's arm and I'm moving forward I I took my, I made like I don't know I have like the dress on with the flowers and it's all puffy so I'm like mm -hmm. very rotund excuse me I'm just trying to get my grandson out of here you say this and you hear. I knew that I shouldn't have let that old lady in there! What? And you guys begin to run, I guess, in an aimless direction with this fog yeah, I this fog the, cloud. I take the frogopus guy with me, of course. Of course, yeah, he's still in your arm. Being yeah, dragged he's along. With me. How do we get <laughs> how do we get to the, the, the shadow lord? What? <laughs> I don't even know, I can't even see right now! <laughs> I, I, Where I, are you uh, taking me? Okay, There's a you fucking know I book. <laughs> okay. I, wait, shit, am I out of divine senses? No, I have one more. Oh, I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it. Uh, okay. Good. Yeah, I, I turn my nose upwards. Do I? What do I smell? <laughs> perception check based on smell. Is that what you're doing? Or you're doing yeah, divine sense. I'm doing a perception is check. Is this a divine smell? smell? A divine this sniff? Is, this is a divine sniff. So it is divine sense, or no, you just it's perception? No, it's not. It's just my nose. All right. If your vision obscured, it would still be disadvantage. Fuck, but it's not my vision, I, well, I, it's my nose. I know, but your nose isn't... Just roll a perception check. No disadvantage. <laughs> okay, thanks. 17. What delicious smells wafted my way. I don't know why I became Italian to try and figure out the smell that you smell. Audio listeners, I put my hand in the Italian hand form. A hero must be sharp of sense. <laughs> You get uh, I draw my nose to the ground. I draw my nose to the ground like Scooby Doo. At first, <laughs> the strongest whiff you get is of like a smog, like steam, oil. You get a, a, a strong smell of oil. Oil. Oil has a smell, right? That's yeah. it. it. Must do. Yeah. Yeah. It smells like oil. There's also a slight smell coming from the diner, just a ways back towards where you guys entered to get into the district. But it's such a faint smell. Only you can smell it right now because of your fucking check. You, uh, yeah, but it's really only that oily smell that you're running towards at is the moment. Is that diner smell, would you say, the safest smell? I would say so, but it's it's uh, just a bit of ways. I got a whiff. It's faint. <laughs> I start taking it's them faint. in that direction. I start taking them in the direction Where of that. Where are okay. you taking us, fishman? Gillian. Go ahead and make a, uh... Just make a... Dex 37 turn. Uh-oh. Three... <laughs> you have your necklace, right? Just make what? sure you. Oh wait, no, you haven't. When did you get your necklace? You haven't been able to attune to it yet, or no? Just want to oh, make sure. Yeah, I do. So with that okay. necklace, I have minus one to dexterity saving throws. Okay. <laughs> it's still a three. Yep, I rolled a four. Okay, so you guys begin to head in this direction. Uh, Gillian explains to you that there's a smell of sweet, delicious grub. Wait. And you guys. But I smell something else. What is that? <laughs> And as you guys been, you run for about 30 feet or so back in this direction, passing the casino. You can tell us the casino now that you can see it, but you can hear it. Chaos is still happening. You run forward, and then all of a sudden, Gillian and the cloud stop as you hear a loud, a loud thing as Gillian seems to run right into something made of metal. The coppers. And you guys kind of run right past it. Uh, Chip, make a strength check. I was a dancer in my youth. Natural so 20! Natural 20 is fine. You don't notice anything, all you, but you, both of you notice that like, Gillian just stops. Gillian, you come smack into uh, something metal and large, and Excuse you fall me, fine, right sir. to your ass onto the ground, and you look up, and you're staring at this extremely, ta like a towering, another one of these metal humanoids. This one, however, is, is, is much more uniquely 
dressed and he looks down at you and he says, You're gonna have to come with us, willingly, or by force. Sorry about that bump kind, sir. The I'm boss. just looking for where that delightful smell is wafting from. Could you help me find my way? You hear a small, like a slight creak as his head turns to the left. And when you look towards the left, following his gaze, he's standing right next to another one of these massive metal humanoids. And that one just says, The boss requests you. I'll help you find your way. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> the other two of you at this point, uh, you, you would, where, where would you, what are you doing? I'll step out of the fog cloud. Oh, this is not my house. <laughs> uh, What's going on? I think we lost Gillian. He's probably still back there where the cloud is. Oh, shit, shit, shit. We gotta go get him. No, we can't go get him. We gotta get what him. Not right now. What if he like ran into a, a trash can and then the trash can's gonna eat him? Trash can wouldn't eat him. Ollie, get yourself together. He's probably fine. I don't know. Shit happens. I mean, oh, hang on. Sorry. Watch, watch, watch your goddamn mouth, boy. Listen, small man inside of a trash can. <laughs> I know it. And he starts like, to, like cower, tries to cower behind you, Chip, but like he can't. Cowering behind a grandma. I'm like hunched over. It's That's your all boss. right now, boy. Where, oh, oh. Gillian? Is your is your boss Blossom by any chance? The one so, the one directly in front of you that you ran into. Uh, yeah. You would get like subtle features unless you drop the fog the fog cloud. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> you can only get a. You can get most of his description since you're off. so close. Same thing with the uh, the captain, or or the the navy guy on the ship. You notice that he's wearing this, uh, like, barber bowl hat okay. with uh, two goggles resting on the brim. And this metal face, brim. Uh, it's, a, it's a gentle gaze and there's this metal black twirly mustache right under the, um, the eyes. His clothes are all buckled and strapped. It's a brown trench coat and it fits, uh, and underneath this trench coat fits the description of like a, a 1920s acapella quartet member. And right next to him, you only get a, a massive fist, glowing eyes, and black leather. But the fog cloud is kind of swirling the rest of it. Can I stumble into this conversation like halfway through it? <laughs> Depends on if you go back or not. Oh, or I don't know if Jay I like, made it out. Yeah, I want to stumble into this conversation with Gillian. <laughs> You would just, in that case, you probably would just be right next to Gillian okay. and only see, you know, like five feet in front of you. So, like, you're right behind Gillian, right next to him. There are these two war, uh, Warforged right in front of you. Okay. And uh, he responds to you, Gillian, and he says, Yes. That would be the boss. So you do know, then, that he's, and I lean in, evil. Whatever your fish concept of evil might be. I'm sure he could be. Synonymous. Then take my hand. Stand up against him. Will you let, <laughs> your, will you let yourself be, be, be trampled by an, by an evil man who pulls the strings? You can change your programming. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so do what's right here. He's going to either say make a persuasion check or make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> I had to check their stat blocks to see if they were immune to being, uh... Well, this isn't charmed, so you're no, just trying to... Yeah, no, make a persuasion check. trying to talk to him. Make a persuasion check. Cool. To this one. 23. 23. <laughs> yeah. This is my current job. After this job has completed... If you are willing to pay more, I am a freelance bodyguard. To be freelance, you need to be free. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> There's a... You can't tell what the gaze is because there are no human eyes to look through as yeah, a window I'm to the soul. I'm trying to look like into where I assume <laughs> the tiny person inside of him is. That's piloting But there's it. a there's a silence for a second, and he doesn't respond. Jay, you're at this conversation. You walk up, and right in front of you is a much bulkier Warforged. 
The skin, or the skin, but the metal, what he's made out of is this black plated steel. With this leather black trench coat laid over a more combat oriented uh, all black outfit. Straps and belts filled with different gadgets. His fists are massively sized. And each uh -huh. knuckle and shoulder and chest are like these open... Uh, I want to say like blowholes. Where every now and then you'll just see a little bit of steam and go... Ktsss. But there is no like words from him. I look over at the one Gillian's dealing with. Is he just like million yard stare basically? Like no reaction? <laughs> They're both blocking him from trying to... <laughs> essentially run away waiting for him to just stand up essentially Gillian, what, what are you trying to do right now <laughs> what's right what what <laughs> what'd you say <laughs> I'm so, so congested <laughs> sorry I'm really congested I just did the fog cloud to clear up my sinuses <laughs> what is what <laughs> what's right that didn't make any sense to me James but I'm with it. We'll have to do this. <laughs> we have to, yeah, we have to do it, sure. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Is it the allergies? Yeah, it's just like getting in a hot hot shower afterwards and it all comes out at the same time. <laughs> Is this one of your, one of your companions? companions? Yes, of course. We would fight to the end together. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like I have stated, we'll be so there happy is no choice. You. I think that I think there's been a misunderstanding. Actually, uh, we're not the people you're looking for. Do you do this? <laughs> what do you think you are? Some kind of fucking Jedi? Please, Jay? Say, <laughs> please say that Jay takes her crab hand and, and does say, this. And then I say to the to the, to the <laughs> copper, I say. But you're the one I've been looking for. Join us. And I look over at the fucking Frogtopus race guy. Help us take down this, the, the establishment from within. There's only one There's only one real business, and it's the business of truth and justice. The one in all black, uh, his head just tilts over in your direction as you say this. You should. You would. Like to hear. What the boss has to say. Get up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Grandma, we're going to the boss. I'd like to, like, uh, stealthily follow behind with Ollie as well. Roll, roll self check. Give it, can I have advantage because I'm Grandma? Or does that matter? No. No, it doesn't. Inconspicuous grandma following no, two dude. giant robots. <laughs> okay, stealth well, is not. Stealth has nothing to do with what you look like. But I'm just got. Oh, I have an eight. Okay, I'm gonna roll for Ollie. Bro, you ever play Assassin's Creed? Yeah, dude. Bro, I put the hood on. Bro. I walked into the crowd and put my head down, dude. Come on. Yeah, what are they gonna say? Oh God, an old woman is following us. <laughs> <laughs> Punch her in the head. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was looking Bogey for the down. bathroom. <laughs> You think you're following fairly quietly. Ollie is, is actually, you would notice, much more on the balls of his feet, walking without a trace than you are. But uh, they don't really seem to react. You just kind of follow. That's Jay, all right. So do you just like know the way back or are we going to run I'll into fall. a wall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fog here. Oh, shit. I, I do, do not need to see to navigate. navigate. The one in the brown trench coat size back as uh, they begin to walk behind you and just kind of usher in a direction one hand on each okay. on, yeah. on Jay's back one hand on Gillian's back and the other the uh, the kind of racer the the, the frogtopus racer he's nameless now so the frogtopus <laughs> racer <laughs> disappears the lightly it's just kind of it's just kind of like he tries to like sneak away but as he does you grab him by the arm and just yank him back in and he's like <laughs> all right we're on a mission right. we need uh, to I have a question how long is it until that waitress said she got off her shift? I mean, you would gather her shift's probably ended now that the casino is, uh... <laughs> <in chaos. laughs> Priorities, huh? Um, is this a good lead to follow? Just asking you for your plot, because I don't want to... Like, I don't want to derail uh, you. Yeah, if you want to get Ollie laid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd say it could possibly come back up. That after. was the real adventure so, all along. So, so don't go do this right now, okay? So if you... Yeah. 
you struggle to fall along a little bit, but it's not too hard because of the fog cloud. Uh, and you manage to see that uh, you guys get taken to what seems to be a uh, telephone booth of sorts. It's this black telephone booth. And uh, as soon as you all step inside, they usher you inside. Chip, I, if you're going to make it in there, you're going to have to go for it now. I want to walk in and I want to, I want to like, lead Ollie in front of me. Follow my lead. Oh, Grandson, right. is this the way to the bathroom? You're going to help me get off my bloomers, right? Grandma, this is a telephone booth. No, I'll listen. It'll be fine. You guys I... walk into the fog cloud and you all enter. Um, I grew oh. up with nothing. We went to the bathroom in worse places. He starts to tap your shoulder violently and like points upwards and you're just kind of, you guys are all kind of clumped into this telephone booth now and <laughs> towering above you are these metal humanoids. One so looking he, rather dashing, the other one kind of looking like a monster. <laughs> so anyway, Molly points up at them. Yeah. These, this is a much bigger problem. Oh no, I can't pee in that, grandson. That's a, that's a living Please thing. Please remove yourselves from the telephone booth. Oh, this is my grandma. You will go willingly or by force. I'm not going to leave my grandson. That's right. She's not going to just leave you her grandson. You watch your tone, young man. <laughs> she needs to use it. the bathroom. <laughs> I tap it. Ding. Okay. Uh, oh, Chip. Can I... roll, roll, roll persuasion with advantage. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, you rather no nicely disguised. You work for, I won't you let you harass this nice old woman. Right, that's a 22. <laughs> Easy enough. The uh, <laughs> the one in the brown trench coat looks over to the black, uh, the black steel one, and then he looks down at you. Is this another one of your companions? No, but she seems like a very nice old lady, and I think you you should think twice before asking her to move. We need to be the ones that move for her. She's seen so much. I've seen it all. That's right. It's okay. She's so you're full safe. of experience. You're safe now. You're safe now. <laughs> and wisdom. The part unto us your wisdom, Grandma. Do you want me to tell you how you die, Metal Man? <laughs> 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 I've seen that too. The probability of me being shut down is about 65% daily. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, wow. Well. It's That's dark. That's Please cool. exit the it's telephone probably, booth probably when not it stops. True if you're here, I mean, I'm a fish. What do I know? But. All right. And do not follow. And as he says that, the uh, the door kind of shuts on its own. You guys hear the the same like clicking of gears as it, and then it shuts. And as that happens, all of the windows inside of this telephone booth seem to just black out completely. And when it does, the interior shakes a little, it's easily, and then it steadies as you gather that this is moving somewhere, but you can't see outside of it. With the fog cloud, and the how long does it last? <laughs> how long it's does the fog cloud last? An hour, dude. An hour. Okay, dude. good. It's enough. If there's no, I'm just. I I think I just forgot it was on at this point. Like Gillian has just, just forgotten. Just, He's just like, yeah, why yeah. Is it? well, it's really it is really. It looks steamy. like you have hot box so the telephone. The telephone booth. It's been hot box and all of the glass panes of the exterior are blacked out. This ride happens for a while, not longer than thirty minutes or so, but uh, you hear the sound of steam designating that you've stopped. The glass becomes see-through once again, and you're pushed out and led in, in, into what looks like uh, to be a, a private train station with a singular train car, only big enough for transporting this small group. If you're following, you have to roll another stealth check. Okay. We are in a fog <laughs> cloud, so I would say that's pretty helpful. I'd say advantage, sure. We're in heavily- Yes! Afraid. Yeah. Oh, I didn't need it. 22. Okay, you gotta continue to follow, uh, and you manage to keep with the the your crew. I love to imagine like I'm just like a little old woman crouched behind like a trash can, and then I get up and just kind of hobble over to another like. <laughs> <laughs> they just hide behind. You're all pushed into the small train car. 
The surrounding area of this, what seems to be like a private station, is not bustling, it's not familiar. It doesn't look like the station you got in, in the center of the city, uh, or the first stage ground floor of the kingdom. It's very quiet. And unless you guys say otherwise, you're coming into this train car. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Inside and outside is black metal, golden design. There's shades of maroon. The seats are maroon. Uh, and there's like a, some of the windows is, is colored and painted to have this maroon color. And as you get in, the windows, again, darken completely in the interior. So you can't see out of it. And it begins to move. And as it begins to move, make a, uh, everybody, make a con save. I know this is a strange request. Is there any way I could be just gripping onto the side of this train <laughs> with, like, the, the force of a thousand Dude. suns? <laughs> like that image of the grandma just holding My onto the God. gate? <laughs> That's funny. How badly do you want Chip to die? Um, I like his life. This is funny, though. Okay, I'll get in the train. If I can get in there, just quietly. At the moment, they don't detect you because you would gather because of the fog cloud. That's really a perpetual fog cloud. Yeah, yeah. it's it's helping so much. Fish steam. I have a seven on the con save. I got Got a twenty-two. Got it. I have a seven. Let's go, dude! All right, my man, up top. Up sevens. So both of you uh, and Jay, you don't get the same feeling. You're your sense, as this train begins to move, the wheels start turning, your sense of direction and your sense of time seems to blur together. It was like a drug trip almost. And Jay, you notice that there's steam that emanates from inside the cabin of this train car. It doesn't affect you in any way, as you can still... You're, it feels like you notice that their equilibriums of Chip and Gillian seem to kind of like get off balance. They look a little woozy. Can, I was going to ask oh, if we just could have Gillian, advantage but... on the roll because like, we have conflicting steams. <laughs> <laughs> I've already said it. That's so. fine. Yeah. Well, for you, uh, Jay, yeah, I'm doing great. This ride is now a painfully long journey. Oh, a little bit above an hour. So about midway into this tra- travel, the steam cloud sort of dissipates. And you guys can just very clearly <laughs> see. Just make it an hour. <laughs> no, I haven't written here that it's about oh. an hour or more. Okay, okay. I was like, let's get the fucking fog cloud out of here. That's why I kept asking how long it That's it funny. lasted. Yeah, yeah, it's done. It's done. No, but it is it is a long ride for you two, Chip and, and Gillian and Chip. When the fog cloud dissipates, you are immediately seen in this car by everybody. Grandpa. <laughs> with 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 Ollie. Oh my God, uh, are is, we there yet? <laughs> It, no, nothing happens at the moment, but yeah, for Jay, it takes way too long. But for you guys, it seems to be just like that, with a snap. You come in, and the, <sighs> the doors open once again. And uh, somewhere along the way, Gillian, your steam cloud, steam fog, just fog cloud, no, just kind of dissipated. Fog. I like how the only only reason to pass that is if you want to suffer a painfully long travel. <laughs> yeah, fuck you particularly. <laughs> <laughs> well, the main reason you, uh, if you guys, like, talked about it, it's basically just so you can't, yeah, I, I I get the picture. Like, so you I get, get, I get, get back yeah. there if you tried. Yep. Yep. Jake, I, I make mental notes of what direction we were going, the heading, everything, how long it took, everything. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna blow it up. Uh, if you want to write this down, uh-huh. in this long journey, <laughs> I had nothing better would, uh, to do, so I made none of it. <laughs> you would have rode up, then right, then up, then right. Okay. Then up, <laughs> then left, okay. then oh, down, left, changing it up, then okay. left, then stopped. Okay, so up right, up right, up left, down left, stop. Mm-hmm. Sound like GTA cheats. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just activated evil cars. But they the watch out, the everybody. Stop button. <laughs> you would, yeah, you would. You get the sense that this, uh, like these tracks, kind of, they they usually when they're not inclining or, or declining, they're going at ninety degree angles, as if they're going around buildings and going up. Uh, but there were moments of time when you guys were rising that it felt like it, you were going for a very long time. Mm-hmm. Are we However, all of you. At the top, maybe. Yeah. Well, no. <gasps> you guys, uh, step off of the train and find yourselves. You notice that they are, you guys are now thousands of feet high. 
thousands oh. of feet, suspended on the side of these buildings made of concrete brass pipes that kind of ride around the buildings and almost obscure your vision for from seeing below. There's so many. Neon tubes and signs, very tall glass windows, uh, and, 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 and uh, all parts of these buildings are... are this is all part of like a grid of buildings erupting from the ground of the Blossom District towards that third disc of the three-stage kingdom. You would uh, gather that the third disc, disc is probably the uh, where the king is. It's much, much closer now, uh, but still a little bit of ways away. You can like fly up there with a fly spell. Steam blows from all of the train's orifices. As it speeds down, I didn't have a, I didn't have a word for what no, the I fucking liked opening it. I liked of the orifices. train. I like orifices. <laughs> so the steam blows from the train's orifices as it speeds down the track no, 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 attached to, to the building. Twice, though. Yeah, no, he said it again. And, like... <laughs> and then it mingles with different trains of varieties of shapes and colors as they ride uh, around these buildings and down. You uh, then walk through this, the door of this kind of like elegantly carved, decorated building. It's just a glass door. You walk in and then the and uh, it seems to be sort of like a penthouse. The hallway is uh, this main hallway that you walk down being pushed by these two very large, uh, I guess, bodyguards. The hallway is of rose gold marble and there's these stone slat walls. Uh, you pass by a few rooms and uh, Jay, with your observant feature, because you can just see everything, mm -hmm. passive perception, you would uh, be able to get more detail of each like passing by the windows and doors of these rooms, you would see that there's an indoor greenhouse that you pass by. There's a room full of more of these warforged, sort of uh, metal clockwork humanoids, uh, mm -hmm. in this like room, kind of hanging out with different like panels on the wall, some sort of uh, electronic devices that you would uh, recognize from the casino and from Geraldo Island. There's a kitchen dining area that you pass by, walking down this extremely long hallway. Uh, and the last thing you notice is some sort of uh, room full of steam, but you don't get much of it unless you want to like roll a perception check You know might as well get more information me as well. It's 22 Okay, yeah, you are you uh, take more of a, a, a You kind of peer in and try and look past the steam just noticing that this uh, room has different squares on the floor float of water There's wooden seats on, on the walls. It's basically looks like an indoor sauna or spa sauna. Okay. Yeah and uh, you pass by other doors that don't have like previews or open doors, or sorry, you pass by other rooms without open doors uh, and, and no windows. And eventually you guys end up in the room furthest from the entrance, two uh, large dark, I'm gonna say dark wooden doors that uh, open up with these golden handles as And inside, towards the back on this kind of like circular high rise uh, lights, on the on the edge of this like raised platform kind of making it glow it's just like, golden couch and on the left and right are these large pot, like <laughs> like potted plants uh more of this extremely ostentatious furniture and decoration within this room a large maroon a couch you can a couch you can pee on <laughs> it's a without rug. shame beautiful <laughs> you what i said a couch you can pee on without shame exactly <laughs> <laughs> And sitting on this couch, as the doors, you guys hear the doors shut, uh, and then the two warforged are still behind you. You meet the face uh, of what appears to be the Boss and Bloss sitting on the couch. Boss and Bloss. Boss and Bloss. It's a Boss and Bloss. Bloss. The Boss. So, awesome. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Did I also go here? <laughs> yeah, you're a grandma. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're okay. The crew now. They just kind of let yep. me go. Well, I would say with your rolls, you kept enough stealth, and Ollie behind you. That you guys stayed behind the uh, the two warforged, and mm -hmm. right as they were closing the doors, or the doors were closing, they <laughs> weren't closing the doors. In. You just kind of like dashed in with Ollie, and now you're kind of standing behind the you're two like, warforged. Like, what are they gonna do if they find you in like halfway through our trip? <laughs> like, fuck, I guess Grandma's. <laughs> Where's the bathroom? <laughs> Look, Grandma, her perfect couch to piss on. Look, put, honestly, just the pit, the shade of piss, like the perfect no, to, a little darker to the hex days. code. That is the shade of piss. Wait, Wait a, a second. second. How did you get in here? What? Uh, you they, told she's me been to with come us the with entire you. time. You were going to show me the bathroom. <laughs> we're trying to get her to the bathroom. Where is it? <laughs> the figure on the couch says, 
Huh. Go to my couch. A piss couch. <laughs> Is that not what it's for? Yeah, that depends. I don't appreciate the disrespect. I, I'm gonna use my final divine sense that I was saving for the king. I'm just gonna use it today. Gonna pop it <laughs> off right then and there. Okay. What's evil? What's evil? Is this man evil? Is the couch evil? <laughs> it's just a golden couch. I know. It's just an overly expensive couch from Ikea you know, or it, some shit. It's just because a couch is overly expensive doesn't mean you make it fucking gold, dude. You have to be sick. Gillian, you close your eyes for a bit, or just for a second. Your head kind of tilts back and the hero, the nose of the hero. Yeah, I tried to sniffle for evil. <laughs> just to tingle a little bit. I had that hot steam going over here. You can see it's just completely clear all the way in his nostrils. It's not a fiendish, an immediate sense of, like, it's not an odor. It's, it's a putrid odor, as if he's not entirely pure. But it's not an odor that says he's a devil underneath this, this, uh, this mask. So, uh, that's what you get. It's a, it's, it's more of like a <laughs> gray area. <laughs> 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 Anyways, I'm not calling it ugly at all. Piss can be good, or or piss can be evil. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. I suppose I can respect that. You guys are are, are all looking, uh, and and Chip, old lady Chip, you step forward a little bit. You guys get a very good look. He is on complete display. Uh, the blossom, the blossom, <laughs> the blossom. He's naked. <laughs> No, no, no. He's, <laughs> his just appearance is on display here. There's nothing oh, obscure or hiding. Um, I'm gonna describe he's, him he's now, and he's not naked. Naked on the, <laughs> the piss God, I can't believe he's naked right now. <laughs> oh my he's God, you guys, full shut up! I do. Shut Ollie, up! Ollie, close your eyes, dude. He's not, dude. He's not naked. Grandma, I promise. Close your eyes. Oh, I didn't. You want guys to see, see this. Uh, this? There's this thing sitting down, kind of one leg up on, on the couch, the other one is crossed underneath that leg, uh, is a sturdy male dwarf. And he's a bit taller than the average dwarf, but not tall enough to where he uh, he fits sitting almost crisscross applesauce on this couch. He has long, fanci fancifully braided pink hair and beard. And it's decorated with like steel and diamond hair pieces. Uh, he has dark shades that look like a mix between, you know, goggles and then like the silver thin framed, almost Ozzy Osbourne uh, glasses that rest in front of his glazed silver eyes. Uh, glazed in the sense where it's almost like a blind, glossy kind of texture on the on the eyeballs. He's wearing this muscle shirt of like white satin over black cargo pants and brown boots with multiple jeweled buckled straps that reach up to the calves. And he's got this tattoo of tree branches that stem from his back and flow past his shoulders, wrapping around his arms, covered in pink cherry blossom petals, leading to silver prosthetic hands with one golden finger on each side, both made of a mix between plated metal and gear-based gas-powered mechanisms. My man is a Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk 2077, uh, one of those, like, dealers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pops what body part? <laughs> what body part do you want to change he's a today? Ripper, yeah. <laughs> Everything but the nose. The nose stays. He looks um, at all of you, yeah. and he just kind of takes a, a, this 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 tube, I'm like a like a hookah tube, and puts it in his mouth, and just <sighs> blows out more steam. Not as much as the fog cloud. He doesn't have that much gas. But... <laughs> Twenty foot radius of vapor. <laughs> oh my God, that would be an awesome character. Sorry. Impressive fog cloud. Looks over at all of you, and he says. I can tell by your uh, well-mannered physical estate that you came willingly. Go to say, much appreciated. What is that like a like a mix of Italian and like? Why are you judging my <laughs> accents? You don't judge his accents. Come on. Oh, I, like was Jay, I thought Jay was saying that in character. I was saying no, she in was. character. I was singing. She, I was singing she was, but God got yeah, angry. Like, that's one of the, that's that's one of the best. Good. That's one of the most authentic. My name's Drax and Jay dies. That's one of the most <laughs> most authentic, best accents I've ever heard from a human. Wow. If only all humans sounded like this. Or all dwarves, I guess. I was just like, I was just curious about what, we, what the what the mix It's French. Is. Now get over it. <laughs> What? Uh. <laughs> Holy shit. That's not what I thought. Why say. did you bring me. my grandchildren here? <laughs> Who's the grandma? It's grandma to you. That's what I just said. 
Well, you can call me your grandma now. <laughs> you tell me, everybody's... son, what are you doing we... with my grandchildren? <laughs> we we're not actually. Maybe it's best for her health if you play along with this. I don't know how much longer Shut up, she grandson has. Grandson so number should, five. We should make okay. <laughs> Better for my health, too. Been around probably a few more lifetimes than you have, old lady. I doubt it. Let's keep our blood pressures low. I, mine is always high, but that's more of a medical thing. You've had too many sweets today, Crum Crum. <laughs> All right. I should lay stop, off. St stop snacking on raisins and caramels. <laughs> They're just so good. You have one. You have one pocket for each, and they're just chock full. Yeah. Stop. Give them. Give me the. Reasons. I want to walk up to the to this man and say, "You know what? You are a growing boy. You should have a caramel too." Yeah. So you uh, reach out this this uh, this caramel piece, and you hear the two uh, the, the two warforged start to move, and he raises his hand up. No, no. Oh, do they want some too? I only have a couple. And he takes the caramel piece, and he's just eyeing it over. One hand on the hookah pipe. What's your name, Grandma? Oh, most just call me Grandma. Mmm. Caramel. It's got sugar in it. Um, if my doctor asks, no, but <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can have just a little bit. Now, you tell me what you want with my grandchildren. I'm a diabetic. Does a 20 hit your armor class? <gasps> what? <laughs> yeah! You watch no. him as he's holding it, and then in a flash, he tosses it up, grabs it, squeezes it with the same fist that he squeezes it. He goes and clocks you right in the face. <laughs> and you- uh, Grandma! You need Grandma, to make it no! A strength saving throw. <laughs> I don't break the bit though. I, I fall down as a grandma. I rolled a six. Okay. You can push ten feet back, uh, just kind of now in the middle between the guys, the crew at the entrance, and him on the couch. I run towards <sighs> Grandma Chip. I, I draw right my on the sword. ground. Grandma, Grandma, are you okay? Oh, I reach into her pocket and grab a caramel and put it in my mouth. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I, run, I, I, grab, I, I pull out my sword and I run over to her and I take out the last caramel in her pocket and I say, suck on this will you pass. And I, I put the caramel no, in her mouth. I can't go yet. You only take six points of damage. Oh, well. okay. Six points? Grandma, no! <laughs> it's lethal, it's lethal. She's not going to make it, Jay. Oh no, why would you do this? <laughs> she's, still, she's still talking to me and I, I like rub my hands over her eyes and close them. <laughs> At first I thought you weren't evil, but I think you were just too stinky to tell. I'm, I, I got my sword out. Jay, this man killed her grandma. <laughs> I, want, I think I actually want to like lay on the ground and just go, Oh no! The light! I see it. I ignore her now. <laughs> well, I just pretend to be dead. Yeah, I genuinely think that this man has just killed an old woman. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm going to... <laughs> Can I do some sort of check to see if I realize that this is Chip? Wow, you yeah, watched this, him you put watch it me on. put it on! And then you stood proudly next to him! <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm sitting here like, why? Wait, no, wait, wasn't the fog cloud up? No, you held the briefcase <laughs> open so he could get the dress out and put it on. <laughs> you watched you me say, it. damn, I think, as I put I think, it on. I think when the fog cloud cleared, I thought it was a different person. <laughs> 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 what <laughs> <laughs> the word Okay, awesome. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to roll. And if I get below a 10, I think it's grandma. And if I get above a 10, I realize it's chip. Oh I got a three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I jump in with my sword. <laughs> what the fuck? I go to cut the piss couch in half. <laughs> hey, Chip, you okay? Like for real? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Okay, awesome. I don't think I don't think Gilly. He's he's cutting the piss couch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. 
You're, you're diabetic and you took away the sweetest thing of all! <laughs> okay, listen, ignore him. Uh, he'll pay for the couch later. He has so much money. <laughs> as, soon as, as, soon as, you, as soon as you lunge forward and leap towards him, uh, you see him raise his other finger that isn't holding the pipe and sna he snaps it. And as that happens, you hear the sounds of a, 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 like a small kind of explosion and then followed by clinking chains. Uh, and you feel... Well, we'll see if you feel it. Well, no, you feel the grasp of a large metal hand grab you uh, kind of all around your, like a harness from the back. Mm -hmm. Like I, like it. Oh, but oh. Uh, go ahead and make a, yeah, consensus athletics. That's right. <sighs> big numbers, big numbers, big Thank numbers. Graham, Graham, I'm coming. So I rolled a natural 20. Oh, Fuck off. <laughs> well, I lose. <laughs> Goodbye. I, four, I mean, I got like a 14. Gillian. So. Okay, you take... 10 points of bludgeoning damage, and you're pulled all the way back oh. towards the large black oh. warforged. Uh, as his, yeah, as his, as his hand, uh, kind of like attached to a chain, almost like a, a harpoon, uh, shoots out, grabs Gillian, and 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 reels him back in. Yeah, and you let's gotta go. hold me back. You gotta hold me back. Or not, let's go. But slams you into the wall. Hold me back uh, behind him. Boss takes another swig. It's a swig? No, that's a drake. He takes oh, another hit. Drag. Drag <laughs> is the word a cigarette. For. He drags again from the pipe and he goes, Nobody offers me sweets in my own house. What are you trying to kill me? I think she's Just one lick of a nice. sugar grain. And I'm out. You just Gone punched forever. an old woman! <laughs> you just hit her with your fucking fist! That old woman made an attempt on my life. Here in my home, disrespect. I, I won't have it. I don't think she knew about the diabetes. <laughs> Do you not have insulin here? <laughs> the king makes it too expensive. Capitalism. Here we go. And again. I, uh, I spend my money on everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what is it? What is it that you want then, huh? Forgive me for a minute. You, wanna, you, wanna you killed my grandma! Too? You killed our grandma! Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Did you say something? <laughs> That's right, grandma. She's fading. She's fading. Oh no. I mean, I... here. I'll make it even. And he snaps again and he points at the other one in law and the large, uh, the, sorry, the large brown, the long brown trench coat. I keep getting my L words yeah. mixed up. Uh, and he walks up and he pulls out this little case from his, uh, inside of his trench coat. It's a, it's a briefcase, kind of like yours, except this one's, uh, leather. And he just flaps it open and he begins to go to work on grandma here to try and patch her up. <laughs> uh, you, you heal seven points. And then that, that Warforged, this is the same one that you tried to persuade. Mm -hmm. Uh, he stands up. And you hear the boss go, Thank you, Alphonse. Now you can stand in the back. Time to get down to business. Graham, oh, and why I brought funny. you here. What do you want from us on our sweet Gram Gram? Let me make a guess. Pirates? Pirates or no? Heroes. Hero pirates. Pyros! <laughs> no, we're not burning anything down. Yet. Not yet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> A pirate, a hero, and a pyro. Interesting, I like it. All right, well, which one of you caused such an uproar in my district? You know, that was my most profitable, profitable inn. Oh, the inn. Oh, that actually, had nothing to do with me. I think my most profitable inn. The Business. In, the infold of uh, uh, adultery and sin. <laughs> that one, you should have called it sin instead of in. Ah, uh, words, words. I don't keep a dictionary nearby. So that was you. That was you fucking all those husbands. <laughs> <laughs> you did that. I don't think that's how it works, Gil. Well, Do you well. run the mail service too? I just own the businesses. The whole of the district you make is her mine. shit in the fucking packages. You what shit is in wrong their with packages? <laughs> well, hang on now, okay? I don't think he shit in anything. Grandma, you're dead. I'm back alive. <laughs> Didn't you see? Damn it! Oh, thank goodness. 
You, you know you... how it works to own things? Sort of like a landlord of sorts. Get the cut. <gasps> the greatest evil of all. And that was my biggest cut. He says now that he's a landlord destroyed. and I instantly grip my sword 1,000% <laughs> tighter. Well, the, the last person we saw in there was a crab woman. There was a crab woman there. We saw a crab woman, right? Gil, you saw a crab the, woman how long in does, here. How long is crab day Oh, it's over. I'm, it's I'm over. gone. It's yeah, gone. It's, 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 it's been ended. over. It, it was over yeah. as soon as I did, like, fog clock. You saw a crab woman in there, didn't you? Yes, I did. Turn yes, you did. No, no yes, you did. You saw the crab woman. Well, I, I didn't see she a crab was, woman. Dick, she was standing ducks. near the bounty hunter in, in your casino. Grandma, do you need to take your medicine? So there was another, and you saw it. it yes. Means you were there, yes? Mm-hmm. Do you know where this crab woman is? I don't know. I'm not your your coppers. I'm a frail woman. No, the point is, I don't have this other perpetrator, but I have you, and you were there. Listen, Somebody's got to take the fall. And I've got the reports of a fish man throwing people out windows, oh, destroying the city, rooms. Oh, man, Gillian Tide Strider, champion of the undersea, hero no, of the no, deep, dismantler a... of evil. Ah, well, so fuck. that was you. Shit. And I will, and I will, and I will proudly Bitch. wear this badge because it was, it was you. You shit in all those people's packages. You rigged the frog to push races. You, you clogged my sinuses. You fucked those husbands. You <laughs> fucked those husbands, and you killed my grandma! I don't know anything right that you're saying. What goes on in that district has nothing to do with me. I just profit. And my profit has been caused quite a bit because of your escapades. That and that indifference is even worse. So tell you what. You say exactly what you want. So we can just get it over with, and then me, and Jay, who is not a crab anymore, and my grandma, who all. just <laughs> came back to life, will will beat you with sweets. No, hang on. I think I know what he's getting at. He wants us to to repay verse. me. Sure. Then I'll tell right. you what. That's all I need. A bit of How much compensation. Uh, it's not you know, money. Oh? Oh, but I want to ask. How would you repay me? Well, we might be coming into some funds <laughs> fairly soon. Is that so? Like, I don't already have enough. Well, this uh, awful king who taxes your insulin. Uh huh. He could, he could uh -huh. have the funds to reimburse you for what we have. Oh. But if we did this, you would need to invest it in inns where you where you don't fuck <laughs> other people's husbands, and you need to stop shitting in packages, and all of your products need to be ethically sourced. I think this man can agree that he won't fuck anyone's husband. Stop. Then <laughs> you have to return the piss couch. You already broke that. Let me get this straight. You're going to <laughs> steal from the king. Yeah. You were already planning to be criminals. Not criminals, more just heroes. Heroes. Oh, opportunists, <laughs> more like. If there's any criminal here, it's you, husband fucker. <laughs> <laughs> If there are any cards up there or down there, they no, have they certainly are. pressed me today. This is a uh, in line with what I want to ask of you. You want us to overthrow the king? Not quite. Oh, okay. However, you want us to kill his grandma? We won't. I sense a bit of animosity, some negative energy between us. Killed her grandma. A large amount of distrust. And then brought her back. I mean. It's a life for a life. <laughs> We're even, right, Grandma? Everything's all squared away. 
You tried to kill me. I punched you in the jaw. <laughs> that seems fair. Grandma. What? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, mm. Sorry. Okay. Listen here. Me and my grandchildren are going to do exactly <laughs> what do you think we're going to do. <laughs> but we could use a little more help. I want your metal boys. Hmm. He takes another drag. Starts rubbing his temples. First, before we start making our requests, a business relationship needs to establish trust. Right? Okay, don't punch me then. <laughs> All of your businesses in the future, all establishments for food and drink need to use paper straws. So I'll put in a steak, and you'll put in a steak. You know I'm in a leg. And he raises up his right hand, and you can see that the pinky is the only finger. Not uh, completely metal, like the other hand. So, do the old-fashioned way. I cut mine, you cut yours. Put what? it in How a bowl. Just, like, smoke on it. How about we just, <laughs> you know, <laughs> bond over smoking the hookah or something. Punch my grandma. I'm not going to cut off my <laughs> pinky. <laughs> <laughs> now, hang on. This is just business. <laughs> <laughs> grandma, no. Oh, no. I wanna, grandma. Like, can, I, can we say that, like, my... I, I, Put shit on my hands to make them look wrinkled, or, or did they look like a normal man hand? Which is funnier. <laughs> Which is funnier. It's kind of funnier. It's your normal chip hand. Okay. I want to walk up and just like slam it on the table with like hairy knuckles and all. All right. <laughs> Whip a snapper. She's a beast. I would love if Chip just went up and was like, "All right, I'll give you my thumb." <laughs> For everybody else who can't see, Connie did the thumb trick. Where he like, yeah. All right, Granny. Uh, Granny. Like looks at her hand. I do. We both lose something out. in order to gain something. And when the job is over, we both get what we lost back again. Deal. Sure. Deal. He walks over and he pulls out from the two uh, calf high boots these uh, daggers, mm -hmm. small like chef's knives yeah. with golden hilts. I'm just like. He walks over and he sets down like this kind of uh, small wooden table. Mm -hmm. uh, I keep eye contact with him. I'm looking like very determined at his face. Like, yeah, I'm ready for you to cut off my pinky. But oh, I take boy. a moment to just look back at them and I just like very worriedly mouth the words, what the fuck? Gillian <laughs> <laughs> is like visibly confused at all this. He just kind of shrugs. He's like, oh, you're in the ring um, now. <laughs> he kneels down uh, and he hands you one of the knives. Oh, I he have goes, to do it. Of course. Mm. Well, you show me your resolve. I'll make sure you know mine. And I've done it nine other times. I would feel a lot better if my grandson did it. Look back at Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes go wide. He's like, no, let me add it. <laughs> you, no. You want me to I've I always wanted to kill. Vegetables. <laughs> no, I, I, I think Miss J could. Should... No. <laughs> Next time she clears her plate, maybe she'll get to cut the pinky. I don't like the broccoli. Well, you should eat it anyway. You Ew. need you know if I, can, I, don't, I don't know if I can do I want your fucking pinky old lady. You can do this, Ollie. I mean grandson. He's like shaking his head furiously at you. Oh. <laughs> Gillian's Gillian's also shaking his head just no. <laughs> oh. It's okay, I'll get it back. I don't know if that's how cutting off what? limbs works. <laughs> he said he would give it back. <laughs> what? 
He's gonna give you your cut off. Pinky You're gonna have bag. to roll persuasion to, to persuade. Okay. This is completely insane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, seventeen. Poor fucking Ollie, man. Now you're making him cut off your finger. He no, didn't he's, roll. He didn't, he's making he didn't. Ollie cut off his own finger, right? No, no, no. no, no, no cut off my Ollie. finger. Oh, okay. Like that's any. Yeah. Like that's any that's better. You're much giving better. This kid, you're forming trauma for this child. Oh well, now that I realize what's going on, I can. <laughs> it's not that bad if he's cutting off my finger. Here, I'll do it. I'll do it. I eat all my greens every time, Grandma. It's my. It's always my destiny to eat all the broccoli. So did he? Did he roll high enough to not do it? Uh, no. I mean, he starts to kind of walk forward a little bit. He's like, she might, I'd really rather not do this. Yeah, don't, Ollie. Don't. I, I, I stop him. I go forward. Do you want to make <laughs> this fucking kid cut off? No. That's... <laughs> He's like 12 years old. It's mentally. Insane. It's insane. Wait, no, I, st I stop him. I stop him. Finger? No, Ollie, you've had too many caramels. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay, back. well, then you. you can <sighs> okay, <this> Grandma. <laughs> um. I'm three. <laughs> I've taken okay, my Gil, Make sure you sword. only get one. <laughs> I want to, I wanna, like, I want to look at Gil and I want to wink at him. <laughs> What does that mean? I, I raise the sword and wink back. <laughs> I'm like, I just have to nod my head. You should have let me do the cutting. I, I had start, a plan. I start nodding my head. <laughs> yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's with it? A big sword. Um, for the it's all he knows how to use. My it's a sword small of knife. Destiny. A knife. Yeah. It's an, just a small knife. An honorable weapon. What are you trying to kill somebody? We're exchanging kill... pinkies. It's like exactly, exchanging vows. Exactly. Oh, I, I one, don't actually one like clean you that cut way. for Grandma. More as a friend. Right um, at the knuckle. Gillian, you can do this, right? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you <laughs> anything fully understand. for you, Grandma. Anything for Grandma's final wishes. I'd... Three. Shoot. I give no. her a caramel to bite on. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is happening for real. All right, what you doing? All right, Chip, you had you had the opportunity to let me. I don't I'm eat sorry, my it. currently low. <laughs> yeah, Pinky. Yeah. I'm I mean, yeah, I don't know what the fuck the plan is. Are you, are you so cutting yes. us? Bro, I don't know what the plan is either. I what? had a okay, plan, wait, but you so said no to me. Plan? So just cut it. Are, just cut it. Cut it. This is funnier. No, this is cut funnier. It. Just cut no, it. No, don't again. I'm going to roll to cut Grandma's Pinky off because it's what she wants. Oh, you accidentally snagged the ring finger. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I got a, I got a uh, 17 to hit grandma's finger. Is that hit her finger? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your AC, Chip? 14. Yeah, that hits. How much HP does a finger have, you think? It doesn't matter. It's fine. <laughs> you can roll damage to see how much Chip takes. Oh, Jesus, dude. Is this fucking real? I don't even know. Yeah, okay. All right, grandma, you take 10 damage. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> more than the, that's more than he did punching you me. You can't uncanny dodge because then you'll only lose the tip, and I'll have to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> as he as he does this, I just go, "Wow, bitch, ow, <laughs> ow. Ah. <laughs> damn it! Watch your language, my finger!" Ah. I, you At know, the I, exact same time, the uh, the the boss, the blossom boss, also swings down this knife, and as he does, it immediately you see steam kind of arise from where the finger is removed, and it uh, it looks to have magically cauterized the wound with the knife. Uh, however, Chips is just literally gushing at the moment. <laughs> oh my god! I, uh, I, I put it on ice. I use I use shape water and turn his tears into. <laughs> <What? God. laughs> okay, okay. What pinky man? Is there any fire? Is there any fire in this place? Like any any open flames? Like okay, a candle? Grum, grum. Um, I have there, I have completely dropped the voice at this point. Some, by the way. There's some like, like hanging like lanterns, like bowl lanterns that are with like three chains. Anything within so. reach, like. What do you want to do? I want to absorb elephants and cauterize his wounds. Yeah, you can do that. You can oh, help Gillian. Yeah. You, you guys both so go out of it. Just putting the fire on the wound. <laughs> oh. oh, Jay, do you have something for? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Chip it burns like a motherfucker, <laughs> uh, like, but it, it closes up pretty fast. <laughs> Holy I'm, fucking shit. I'm laying on the ground. Oh, oh my god. god! Oh my god! And it deals four damage to you. All right, <laughs> we have ourselves a plan. 
Well, awesome. Yeah, that job, was a great we plan. We have ourselves a team. I, I, I heal up. I use lay on hands and heal up grandma. All right. <laughs> how, how much, how much health are you missing? I, how much health are you missing? Uh, 14. Okay, I give you 14 points. Double what it what getting punched across the room. <laughs> yeah, I give you 14. I mean, you did get a fucking finger cut off, so yeah. So how does reattaching that work, like, later? Don't you see my hands? Grandma is going to have a cyber pinky. Wait, you're telling me I can't put it back on? <laughs> I say, like, I'm full chip at this point, by the way. Like, the glasses have fallen off. I'm like, I just... The, <laughs> like, chip! I was like, yes! Guys. What did you do to my grandma? <laughs> I go to rub my face and then I like I rub the the stump oh, on my oh. hand, my head. Ow! God, I you're really stupid! Just Wait, Chip, why did you tell me to cut your finger off? I didn't. <sighs> Chip, because I had a plan, you know. You could have just like. You could just like. What? You told me I didn't eat my veggies. You deserve this. I you, eat all my veggies, I always. I eat all my veggies even more. I was so happy to be there for Gram Gram. <laughs> what did you send Ollie do it? What would Ollie have done? Why would you make I had a plan. Oh, boy, whatever. All right. I mean, you couldn't have done the plan with me. <laughs> well, you have my pinky, I guess. Now that we can trust each other. Uh -huh. You want to steal from the king. And I need you to kill him. Sound like a deal. <laughs> you didn't tell me that before you I cut off my pinky! <laughs> Why do you want the king dead? My pinky. Because that king isn't right for this kingdom. Has no idea what he's doing. Too easily pushed over and pushed around. Do you plan on taking over when he's dead? Hmm. Don't know if I want that kind of responsibility. Uh. But the seat should be open. Perhaps I'll put somebody in there. What's the matter? The details. Because want we want to steal leave from this him? place a better, a better place than we found it. Oh. So if we're gonna noble. make a pinky promise, we're gonna oh, need you I to get put. it. We're gonna need you to put the right person in, and we're gonna need to make sure that if we're killing anyone, that they deserve it. We're not gonna just walk up to the king and kill an innocent man. Oh, that king deserves is it all right. Have you been to the port? You've seen the slums. Um, Would that lucky change? to have uh, been so close, gone so acquainted, stumbled upon this fortune of the district. That's what I can do it myself. With that king there, nothing under us, nothing under them. And he points towards like the ceiling, uh, gesturing towards the, the royal district. Nothing under the crown. It's going to change. Get about there. And our profits aren't even exported efficiently. We could be making way more. This kingdom could prosper. It could stand on two feet. Literally. Tell you what, if your king is really responsible for this disparity in wealth, if we can put someone there that would make this a better place, if you abolish all these these businesses or at least reform them, bring the rings together, make sure that our boy Isaac has a good life, prevent those people, those children from living in poverty, and if this king is truly as bad as you say he is, Oh, we yeah. may have a deal. Absolute worst. <laughs> I'm gonna roll my first insight check in Rip Tom. <laughs> um, 14. 14? Uh, he's giving off the impression that he genuinely believes the king is the worst king he's ever. A, he's a prophet guy. He's a prophet guy. Yes. And he wants him gone. You you can tell. Everything he's saying is very is pretty forthright. Why he why he wants him gone. Well, you know, if everyone was able to, to participate in the market, surely the profits would go up exponentially as well as production costs and not to mention the PR benefits of using sustainable <laughs> reusable plastics, papers, and of course, not fucking people's husbands like you've oh, been doing. You should know your stuff. I give him a full pamphlet. 
<laughs> you know, he's like reading over the pamphlet. <laughs> Do this job for me. Maybe I'll offer you another one. I'm not gonna show you all those wants and good changes. I have a, I have good intentions. Make this city another place. We won't need another one. Change is slow, but you have my word. And my pinky. And and both the pinkies. Uh, yes. But of course. But first, King must. And our guest on on the way. Go ahead and take whatever riches you find. Do what you want. We're gonna disperse it. We're going to disperse those riches back to the people to help jumpstart this process. It'll be really good for the economy. Very musketeer of you. Noble. Sure. As long as you get what I need done. Hey, how much are one of those bionic fingers? Just asking. I mean, come back successfully and it's free. I know a guy. Let's be perfectly clear. Just because our two pinkies are in the bowl doesn't mean we work for you. You just happen to have the means to make these changes possible. And if you didn't, interest. you would be yeah. just like that piss couch over there. Listen, Fishman. We're partners now. Not employee and employers. Those two... And he points towards the, the Warforged. Those are employees. I don't hire people. Usually. Can't trust them. But those don't think for themselves. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> Funny one. That's a good one. All right. You that's start, all hey, then. you you don't put that pamphlet down. You Here. read through that entire thing. Here is an entire printed out <laughs> version of my slideshow that I put together. <laughs> On reusable and sustainable en energy. Pulling and it out of the briefcase like a fucking businessman. <laughs> you will make this place a, a, a beacon. A beacon of the future. Yeah, yeah, sure, so of course. You can only keep making profits if you still have things to draw from to make them. It'll be a better place, all right. The king will be gone. We will prosper. Your debt to me will be paid. And you'll... Get that pinky back, uh, Sir Grandma. Huh. Mr. Grandma. Yeah, thanks. Here is also 120 flash cards with all of the terms outlined so you can study <laughs> and know them by heart when we return. Get out of my sight. Oh, headache. Oh, my blood pressure. Oh. And here's a souvenir. <laughs> Limited edition... Uh, pen metal that straw. Says okay, so listen. Yeah, at metal, this point, metal straw. At it's this a, point, I give, him, I give him a no, no, no. Before he does, before he does, they're fucking pulling me out. I give him a metal straw that says Gillian and, Ty and the Tide Striders on the side of it. <laughs> give it to him. <laughs> it's not. Both of them don't go with you. It's just the uh, the one who you learned to be Alphonse. That was this uh, this the one in the, uh, the the brown leather trench coat with the kind of uh, acapella quartet under mm -hmm. like a barber bowler mix of an outfit. Mixed with like the the more steampunk fashion, uh, he's the one that kind of ushers you guys out. He seems to be more polite and open, and uh, he takes you back towards the entrance. Unless you say otherwise, you want to try and do anything else before no, you exit no, this building. Okay. It, it, no, you you guys gather and you would um, observe very easily. This seems to be more like a penthouse than like a headquarters here, uh, a very high rise condominium. That explain the fucking Sonya and everything, yeah. So, uh, you guys get taken out uh, to the entrance again and uh, after a few moments pass a sleek smaller red like ruby red train uh, arrives right on the the tracks are like kind of uh, attached to the buildings like I said before and they pass under these uh, archways that and every time they pass they seem to get struck by an arc of lightning which makes them go faster almost if like keeping them powered and this train pulls up or a steam power train and as it does you hear the whistle and the, and the smoke blow and I assume unless you say otherwise you all get on again yeah 
this mm -hmm. time uh, the train itself doesn't black out or anything, uh, and you wanted the... Alphonse comes with you, uh, per the Grand Wall's request for help, right? You wanted... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alphonse yeah. is the bowler hat one, right? Yep. With the mustache. I absolutely wanted Alphonse to come. Alright, you got one of the robots, Robo Boys coming. The Frogtopus Racer is still attached to you. Uh, I don't know what you'll want to do with him, but he He's has been drug us. along. Ollie is also with you guys. Uh, and all of you get on the train and begin to move. My finger! I, what was the plan there, Chip? Why did you make me uh, cut off your finger? I, I don't even know what the plan was anymore. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Uh, listen, I literally have... I, I pull up my flute. I was gonna fashion this into like a fake finger and like... Uh, I was gonna do something <laughs> like that too, but I was... You were gonna get Ollie to do it, the 12 year old? No, and... I was just gonna get him to pretend! Uh, what? <laughs> pretend to cut up... What? How? <laughs> I was gonna move and... You were gonna move? Chip, what does that mean? <laughs> Chip, you say you have a plan a lot. Does that? Do you actually ever have a plan? <laughs> I do. What was the plan? But I don't have a finger. <laughs> then what's the? Then what's the plan for this, Chip? How are we getting to the top? Uh, uh, mm, I'll get back to you. On I'm that. not convinced he ever has a plan, Jay. <laughs> Listen, I have a plan. Stop oh. killing my brand. I start listening in almost <laughs> instantly. <laughs> I want to see if we can like bring in the bounty hunter guy to the king as like a criminal <laughs> for like trying to shoot up a casino. <laughs> Interesting. So we bring that could work. I mean, but like you're, you're affiliated. affiliated. Would that be enough with... to get a, as an audience with with the king of all people dealing with a. Uh, simple crime like that it was a crime in the second layer i imagine they care about that it seems almost as if you'd need some a disturbance in the third layer to garner such attention well i wonder if we could bring him up there and make him pull a gun there as well <laughs> perhaps if there are already this many evil establishments on the second layer there's even more on the third and who's telling how disruptive the dismantling of those oppressive systems may be. As that no, sentence I... finishes, you can keep talking, but as the sentence finishes, uh, you guys I love this feel the train. The this. Yeah, feel <laughs> the train hit a track that is completely upright vertical, and you guys begin to go upwards uh, at this point. Just straight up. Okay, so I mean, yeah, we, we can either make him I make covered. like a fully fish like exclamation when that happens, I just go bah! My, my face suddenly turns into the face of a 70-year-old woman because of all the G-Force. Yeah, I, I turn into a blobfish. <laughs> it's not, it's like not going that fast yet. It's still going rather, uh, rather normally paced. It happens anyway. Sure, sure. Seems like we're going I, there now. I, I throw up and it comes back into my face. Oh, <laughs> oh gross. No, 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 no cut that out. Uh, no, gross. I don't do that. That's just funny. I use shape water to shape chips throw up out the window. <laughs> no, I don't throw up. I joke. So I, joke stops. I joke. Yeah, I, I use shape water to fucking shove it back down. Um, okay. Yeah. So, let's say let's say if we can't get the bounty hunter guy, uh, Gillian, you go disrupt evil, and somehow My that'll destiny. eventually land us in front of the king. I'm sure. Well, I, I don't know if uh, just saying Gillian disrupt evil is uh, a safe play, Jay. Well, Chip, look at look at what he did in the second layer and tell me look that. Look at what he did to my hand! King. Listen, you did that to your hand! For the... I didn't ask to cut off your pinky! Okay. You, you asked okay. him to cut off your okay. hand. Okay, <laughs> so... Pinky. If we can't find the bounty hunter, maybe we do something that does get us an audience with the king. Uh, I we don't know. We can also if... just sneak in, and like maybe the king has diabetes too, and we can sneak him with caramel. <laughs> I don't think sneaking him with caramel is going to work, but what if... Uh... Uh, I. What if we plan or pretended to be like from another land, and and we were gonna do some trading with the kingdom or something like that? I am maybe from another land. Yeah, well, maybe we use that. Make but it work. perhaps as well, people in a position like this have plenty around them trying to corrupt things. 
I have no doubt that if we were to pull something similar to what we did back in the Paramount Tournament with the Baron, perhaps something could come of that. That could gain us an audience with the King if an evil close to him, of which undoubtedly there are, was exposed to him. Well, we need to get close to him first to figure out what we're going to do. Well, how about we disguise, we, we kidnap some guards, take their outfits, disguise ourselves, walk in, uh, tell them it's our shift time, and we scout the place out. <laughs> Ollie, Ollie pipes up. So, so we're, are we actually going to kill him? or Not if he's a good man. There's no reason. Should we so, like, but if can if removing him can change this place for the better, if my slides are followed accordingly, then it, it's, it's royal, right? So, what if he has a son? I mean, Ollie, we're not, listen. What if there's I'm a not gonna line? kill him, but maybe we could send him away in of in some way. His whole family. What if he's got an heir? Would we have to just go on like a spree or? This is no, a strange no, we're not going chip. on a murder spree. No, that's not happening. Heirs well, uh, we'll... just seem like bullshit. Since when does blood qualify someone to be in a position at all? <laughs> yeah. Now let's go fix this city because it is our <laughs> destiny! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys would uh, eventually, as the train continues to travel upward, the velocity increases steadily until you're going much faster than you had before. And you guys, if you're looking out the windows, you notice that as this train is rising up the tracks, you are leaving the grid of this uh, or this 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 city, this grid of the of city buildings, uh, and clouds begin to gather outside of the train windows until your vision outside the windows are completely obscured. And you the hear the, 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 the racer, the, the Frogtopus racer say, uh, are we going to the Royal District? That's right. Are we um, headed towards the crown? That's right. Ab, Ab, what is your name? Abdul. That's right, Abdul. We're going to the top. All the way up. I've, I've never been. Nobody's ever allowed to go here. They weren't before, but things are gonna change here. For everyone, Abdul. Eventually, the clouds outside of the windows dissipate as the train breaks through them. And there's a moment of stillness. The sound of the wheels grinding on the tracks is no longer present. When you look out the window, you realize it's because they aren't present and your train is completely suspended midair. It's like when you fucking end the track in Roller Coaster Tycoon and see how bad it'll derail. <laughs> For a split second, it feels like all of you are about to start falling backwards. You can feel that momentum and your stomach sink deep into your chest. And then you all notice a bright blue light outside the window and the sound of a striking the train. The momentum continues forward and you get this like sense of you're getting forced back into your seat as the train continues to rise trackless the clouds around you seem to flip upside down and the tips of buildings come into view in the same motion as the tracks hit or as the train hits the tracks once more in a completely opposite sense and you're traveling it feels like you're traveling upwards but from your vision, you're traveling down into the city, this kingdom, just a circular disc. You see a large castle, a, a building that seems like a, like a square, uh, almost completely made of like marble columns. Uh, there's a, a ton of houses and mansions uh, on like the back half of this circular, uh, of, the, of this disc, it looks like a section of housing. And the train descends into it and then mixes within all the buildings and you start to pass different kinds of these regal looking and uh, uh yeah just regal looking bills buildings and houses and uh yeah you would get the sense that uh it's completely disconnected from the kingdom and the uh, your your sense of gravity is flipped yo does that mean yo. if we throw all the gold straight up it'll fall down to the rest of the city 
Guess we'll find out. <laughs> in the next session! <laughs> oh! Because oh, we're ending it, bitch! Dude, this is cool! We're fucking upside this is cool. down! Dude, I just want to say that this song also super fits to, like, the description of this all. It has a gas happening. I like this song. Thank you. Good choices like, today. Like Good choices transistor. today. Oh, this was great. I want to put all the money in a cannon and shoot it straight up. So that it That'll all be comes awesome. down. What That'll if we just awesome. take the- what if we just throw people? <laughs> let's like talk about it. Let's talk about an actual plan. Uh, I'm just rolled with it on Patreon. I'm just rolled with it, boys. I'm gonna talk about who I'm gonna throw on just rolled with it, guys. Can you throw me? talk about Pinky I have Featherfall. I have Featherfall. Throw me. Chip is now but, Chi because he's missing the P. But if you activate key. Featherfall Pinky. before the gravity flips, do you just Featherfall in the opposite direction and fly forever up? This I and guess more on just <laughs> rolled with it. <laughs> we will discuss. All right, thank you guys so much for listening. All right, it's time to give a shout out to the patrons over at patreon.com slash just roll with it. So let's get a huge shout out for Reaper's Past, Sebastian Saunders, P1LLW, Apple, Princess Vegeta, Soul of Apep, Clarence, Cheshire, The Copper Android, Misfit Wolverine 15, Atlas L, Blue Blend Blop, Elise, the washed up bard, Bowling Ball Iron, Zerberus, Mr. Griffin, Alyssa, Dream Strider, Obligatory References, Beats, Ben 10, Zephlar Pendrake, Cryosonis Sin, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, It's Blitz, Iridescent Cakes, Viridin, Maeve Malohi, Miscellaneous, Expoogaloo, Creepy Reaper, King of Ranch, Serene is actually a skeleton, Material Seaweed, Alexis Kira, Gillian's biggest fan, Rashiznivy, Cornier Comet, Jumpiest Venus 34, Your Gal Pal Valerie V, Nay, Edgy Moss, Riker Kirotu, Nons Lottle, Salutation, JRWI Enjoyer, and Jay Newell. And hey, listen, if you want me to shout your name at the end of the Just Roll With It episodes, or maybe somebody else to shout it, go over to the Patreon. Check it out. We got a whole bunch of cool stuff over there. A completely different show, Prime Defenders, if you don't know about it, which you should. A whole bunch of cool what ifs and this. Yeah. So if you want to, you want to get in all that stuff, head over there. Anyways, thank you for making it to the end of the episode. Hope you have a good rest of your day. That was nice. That was a nice little message for them. I hope you do have a good rest of your day. Just roll with it, listeners.